It was Professor Michele Gidai Mugos Day at the University of Dar es Salaam. The professor of literature who has been in exile in the United States of America has her place in the history of the clamor for reforms in Kenya as a human rights activist who beat gender barriers to become one of the most influential advocates of democracy. She was forced into exile in 1982 during former President Daniel Arap Moi's regime and eventually stripped of her Kenyan citizenship. Professor Mugo had taught literature at the University of Nairobi at a time many lecturers were boldly opposed to oppression. The trial of Dedan Kimathi, a play she co-authored with Professor Ngugi Wathiongo, is one of her many inspiring writings. Professor Michele Mugo now joins the list of Africans who have been honored with the title Distinguished Mwalimu Julius Nyerere Lecturer, a title that is normally given to intellectuals who have contributed to social justice. All this in honor of the founding president of Tanzania, the late Mwalimu Julius Nyerere. We pay homage to Mwalimu Nyerere and to Tanzania for their redefinition of home to include disinherited sons and daughters of Africa so they had a home in Tanzania. At this gathering attended by former Tanzanian President Benjamin Mukapa, former OAU Secretary General Dr. Salim Salim, Kenya's High Commissioner to Tanzania John Mutinda, and a host of scholars, she delivered a lecture on the role of artists and intellectuals in liberating Africa with a call on contemporary leaders to emulate the selfless spirit of the late Nyerere. The University of Dar es Salaam remains true to the Nyerere and Tanzania Tanzanian spirit of embracing a Pan-Africanist vision. Professor Mugo is a cousin to Royal Media Services Vice Chairperson Gathoni Masharia. Also in attendance were Professor Mugo's sisters, Dr. Eunice Muringo Kireini, Nancy Gidae, and Wamboi Marekia, and family friends Ramadan Tawida and Jen Kiano, a commissioner with the National Commission on Integration and Cohesion. Professor Michele Mugo once lived in Zimbabwe, where she became a citizen of Zimbabwe after being stripped of her Kenyan citizenship. But she regained her Kenyan citizenship in 2009. The University of Dar es Salaam that hosts the Mwalimu Julius Nyerere annual lecture on Pan-Africanism is known for producing scholars that have excelled in law and human rights. Unlike politicians who don't see beyond the next election, Intellectuals take a broader view, a bigger view of things, okay? and they are the ones who act as a mirror of our society. The occasion was a celebration of knowledge, a celebration of leaders who spread knowledge in order to change Africa, as opposed to exploiting ignorance in order to deny Africa change. Alex Chamada, Citizen TV at the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania.